Hello my friends, how are you doing? It is time for some more secret sauce and today I will show you how to save a blurry image. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also before we get started, because of Corona time and social isolation, I want to give you something special. So. Starting next Tuesday, which is the 31st March, I will release a bundle with all of my pro packs, 75% reduced. And the pro pack for this month is even included completely free. All right, enough with the announcements. Let's look at this picture. As you can see here on the left side, it's me and it's sharp. On the right side is my cat Pelusa and that's blurry. So how can we save that picture? Well. We want to apply adjustments to make the picture sharp, but only on the cat face. So I will apply them first to all of the image. I want to start with the classic unsharpened mask. So let's go down here to live filters and then to unsharpen mask here. And I'm going to set the radius to two pixels and then the factor. Let's see how high we can go before it starts to look bad. Don't look at the left side, just look at the cat face and we will fix the rest later. So uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to apply a curve like that because we want to have more contrast in the image because contrast also can look like a sharper image. You can see that's pretty good. Let's bring this down a little bit so you can see the face already appears a lot sharper than before. Let's see, that is good. Okay, let's apply another adjustment. In this case, another live filter for clarity. And we want to have the clarity on its own. So it's not applied to the curves adjustment. Make sure it's applied to the picture because otherwise you won't see much of an effect. So how far can we go here? Mm, let's see a little bit. Let's go like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, do we need something else? We can also try the adjustment for brightness and contrast. Basically the same as curves, but we can still play around with that. Let's see. So that seems pretty good. Okay. Good. So now the trick is because this looks pretty extreme, as you can tell, we will right click and then we want to select merge visible. So this is calculating a version of all these kind of adjustments on its extra layer. And then we turn off all of the other adjustments that we have made so far. And you can see here the before and after. So this has changed quite a bit. So that's pretty good. Now what we want to do next is to apply a mask layer to this and then select the mask layer and go to layer invert. So it's a negative mask. It isn't applied to anything at all. And the next thing we are going to do is to take a brush. And as you can see, the mask right now is black. So we want to set the color of our brush to white and then we can paint in our sharpness and now you can be very selective about this so you can say let's paint it only on the parts where i actually need the details um, because if you have too much of it it could look a little bit extreme so we want to basically only go with the face here i will make my brush a little bit bigger maybe reduce the opacity to let's say 50 percent there we go. So this gives me multiple attempts to um, layer up my opacity. And you can see here, I can simply paint this onto the cat face and not onto anything else in the picture. And this lets the cat face appear a lot sharper and a lot more detailed than it actually is. So it's kind of tricking our eyes. So that's pretty nice. Maybe we went a little bit too far over here on the face so you can switch over to the color black. Maybe make the brush a little bit smaller again like that. And you can see I can paint this out on the face. Good, like that. Of course, 
If you want to, you can also apply sharpness and detail to the rest of the picture. So maybe apply a little bit of that. Let's go with, let's say 20% and paint that also onto my face because the detailed look pretty nice. So let's make my face also a little bit sharper and the beard down here. We have some nice detail. There we go. Okay, so now if you compare this, this is the after and this is the before. You can see that we improve the picture quite a bit. And by the way, this is a saving of a picture. So you can maybe print it, but it's not thought for like printing quality. It's more like if you want to share it online and there the effect is way good enough to share it on Facebook or Instagram, stuff like that. So if we make it small and I turn it on and off again, you can see that we get a lot more detail and the face actually looks really sharp now while before it's kind of blurry. So that's a pretty cool effect. And because we only applied it partially, the effect is even more effective, basically. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you do. And if you subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button so you get notified when I upload a next video. And also look out for all of my pro packs together in one bundle for 75% off, which is a special deal to give something back to the community during the Corona time. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.